Salutations Shred Monkeys, I'm Rob Chapman from Door J and I'm very excited today to show you the Blackstar HT5 and HT1. <laughs> have quite a bit of experience using the HT5 and 1 heads because the last recording with my band Dorje we did a song called Aeromancy and we actually discovered that the HT1 head on the crunch setting was fantastic for double tracking a lot of the guitars we were putting through very expensive heads and so uh, you'd be very surprised at the incredible tones you can get from low wattage heads and particularly with Blackstar what impresses me the most of the crunch tones and the headroom on the 5 watt amp with the clean tones is just stellar. Well, we'll start by taking a look at the HT5 head and then take a look at the differences with the 1 watt head. The HT5 has an ECC83 valve and also a 12BH7 valve. And what that gives you, coupled with the amazing award-winning HT pedal preamp, is ridiculous saturated gain at super bedroom levels and then also gigable levels. Now here's something that might confuse you. This is a 5 watt head and you're probably thinking, well 5 watts is nowhere near enough to actually go out and play a show. Well you'd be completely wrong. For example, a 50 watt head is not five times louder than a 5 watt head. What you tend to get is double the volume and a lot more headroom on the clean tones. An HT5 could go out and very easily gig, and in fact I have a couple of friends who do that all the time. almost all of you will have heard of the ISF feature that Blackstar patented and basically it's kind of an interesting sweep that takes you from what they call American to British voiced and I think it's really cool it's got some very interesting functionality definitely gives you two different kinds of brand feel but there are a couple of things that I think are very overlooked particularly with Blackstar and particularly the HD5 and HD1 heads that as a band Dorje uses all the time and I know lots of other people in the studios use them it's the speaker emulation. Blackstar have nailed the art of speaker emulation. And in fact, on the back of the HT5, you can even select between different kinds of speaker that you would output from. So for example, the HT5, you can emulate out a 1x12 or a 4x12, and it's got the digital reverb. It's got loads and loads of great functionality making this an awesome home studio amplifier when you've got regular walls, you've got neighbours that are going to play, you can just take a lead in the back of the amplifier and play it and it sounds like you're going through a 412.
comes with a foot switch. This is a super metal, hard constructed piece of awesomeness. It's got one button, takes it from the dirty channel to the clean channel. Nice confirming feel. And something that just speaks of quality when you do change channels is this. If I take it from a crunchy, sort of uh, slightly distorted sound. <laughs> It doesn't drop out, it doesn't cut off and then kick in a new set of whatevers. It just fades into the next channel. Obviously sharing the same circuitry and valves, it's a nice smooth transition and that's great for recording and it's exactly one of the things that makes this amplifier absolutely awesome. <laughs> So as you can see, as well as the ISF feature, it's got a three band EQ. The head looks awesome. <laughs> it just looks badass. Two channels, really simple to use, clean and gain. The gain is as dirty as you're ever going to want it to be, and you can back it off to a pleasant, warm crunch. And the clean channel stays clean right up until the top, and then it just starts to break up very slightly. It's a fantastic amplifier, and if you're looking for a low wattage head, for my money, I think this probably is the best 5 watt head on the market right now. Now this is my HT5 head. And as you can see, I've plugged it into my awesome fat boy Zilla cab. But if you're not lucky enough to have a Zilla cab, you can plug it into anything. You can plug it into a 412 and it sounds phenomenal. Um, I've taken all of the reverb off to give you as much of the natural tonality as possible. And we're just going to go clean tones through the pickups. I'm using humbuckers and a Chapman guitars, ML2. And it sounds just like a great valve amplifier. Here is the bridge pickup. Here's the neck pickup. Star, you're probably not getting it for the clean tones, although you will be surprised at how great they are. You're probably going to get it for the crunch tones and the ridiculous, screaming, saturated lead tones. Here is a crunch tone with all the reverb taken away, and I'll bring it in later on for you. <laughs> warm, natural sounding tones, absolutely love them and they're fantastic recording tones too. I'll bring in a little bit of the reverb now, this is digital reverb and it's really great quality. What you don't find is that you can really add too much and it kind of swamps the sound and you get that kind of splash back afterwards. It's just great natural sounding reverb. <laughs> Just love 
those crunch tones with the reverb. It's so natural and organic sounding. And you might be surprised to find out, because you can't probably see from here, but I've got the gain on about two. So let's put half the gain in the system and uh, take a listen to how that fares. And the, the one criticism I have of the HT series is that there's only a little dimple on the knob to kind of see visually where you are. Other than that, nothing wrong with them at all. <laughs> So I've put all of the gain in now. This is something that I wouldn't normally do, but just to give you an idea of the kind of saturation you can reach with an HT5 head. Um, and there's a little bit of hiss, but nothing crazy, and it sounds like... ever going to need. It's got great bedroom metal tones. If you're after that thick, fat chunk when you dig in with a pick, this is a fantastic option for you. Well, that's the HT5, and it's about 240 quid on the street. Um, but if you haven't got 240 quid, and you want a great amplifier for home, why not spend 140 quid and get its little brother? So, here is my uh, personal HT1 head, this thing is ridiculous. Now, the fact that I own one tells you something. Uh, I'm going to turn it on for you and I'm just going to play it as it is uh, with the regular settings I always, always use and check this out. <laughs> all of the gain, all of the saturation that you get from the HT5. It's an awful lot smaller. Um, yes, it's quieter, but you'd be surprised at how loud it is. I mean, this is on about half volume. Uh, I'm in a very thick walled cottage. If I went up much more, I'd get severely told off by my wonderful wife. So why don't we do that? Let's just take it right up and see what happens. <laughs> So there you go, 
uh, it's much louder than you expect it to be. It's got most of the features that the HC5 has got. It hasn't got a foot switch though, so if you want to change between the crunch and the clean channel, you've got to use a little switch here. The clean channel uh, has headroom, but not a lot of headroom because it's only a little tiny amplifier. Um, still has the emulated speaker, still has the fantastic reverb, and still has the great saturated gain. And for my money, this is the best practice amplifier on the market right now, and I never say that. As a professional musician, I tend to use a head and a separate cabinet so that I can change different kinds of cabinets for different kinds of effect. But if you're on a budget and you can't afford to buy big extension speaker cabinets, why not go for a combo? And actually, you can get a combo version of the HT1 and you can get a combo version of the HT5. And to give you that kind of Christmassy, warm, special feeling, I've got both of those here fully boxed and I'm going to unbox them for you just so that you can witness the fitness of what it would be like on Christmas morning to open a brand new boxed HT combo. So, here is your HT5 combo, fully boxed. And this is what you get inside. So you've got nice packaging there. Four little corners as per normal. Nice juicy HT5 combo. Now it comes with a little bit of box candy. You get this uh, booklet, stickers, and all sorts of stuff. And what you want to do with this is throw it away and take a look at the instructions on top of the combo right here. They give you everything that you need to know in a really easy glance format. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's a lot heavier than you think it's going to be. This thing easily weighs baby rhino after a feed and um, the weight gives you an insight into the quality of the cabinetry. These things are great, they're built to last, I know that because we've personally kicked them around our touring van and uh, thrown them around the band house and they survived. HD5 combo, good enough for a rehearsal, mic it up, good enough for a gig. Comes with the pedal as per the head and all of the functionality is exactly the same, the only difference is that it's top rather than the front, so all the controls are there. And there you go, 12 inch speaker for your aural delectation. And here is the HT1 version, this is the combo, I'm going to use a plectrum to open this one just to show you how to be safe at home. <laughs> Four little corners. There you go, check that out. Is that not the cutest little tiny combo on planet Earth? Happy Christmas from Blackstar. So, there you go. Great combo, again, a lot heavier than you'd think. This is kind of all mastiff puppy after a feed. And again, this thing is resonant, great low tones, and it certainly is louder than you think. You couldn't gig it, you couldn't hear it on the floor, and it would annoy you. If you want a gig, HT5. If you want to play at home and record, HT1 is a great option. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration from Casa Chapa, and I've got some good news for you. If you'd like to own an HT5 like this, then the lovely guys at Blackstar have offered to give one away, and I've teamed up with my buddy David Wallerman from Guitar Playback to bring you a Christmas competition. And it follows the exact same regular format that I normally use, which is there is a backing track right here from David Wallerman's awesome guitar playback website. Download it for free. It comes with some instructions and some scales. Recommends you different kinds of scales that you can use. And I'd like you to record a video playing over that backing track and submit it as a response to this video. I'll be choosing the winner on Christmas Day. Good luck, and you might be the owner of an awesome... Black Star HT5. Happy Christmas to you. Take it easy. Chappers out.